what's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast, I had, well, for brunch, I had some shepherd's pie. I guess technically for breakfast, I had some barbecue chips. Um, I woke up at 7 this morning, despite my best efforts to go to bed at 9 last night. I went to bed at 10, so I had to wake up at 6, uh, at 7. Um, but tomorrow, I'm going to wake up at 6, which is cool, which is actually going to be in about 12 hours, which is fun to think about. Um, I'm going to be going to bed at 9, and I'm going to get ready for bed right after this. Um, yeah, so I woke up at 7, um, I had this really weird dream where my sister called, I had a dream where, but I, you know, I've been thinking about, uh, Demna, and I've been thinking about Valenciaga, um, because I think what they're doing is really interesting, and, uh, for some reason that just found its way into my dream, I had a weird dream where, uh, Balenciaga did like flash mobs like they had a flash mob service but not really a flash mob it was like basically my sister paid for these three women in yellow sort of sort of like Hillary Clinton like pantsuits sort of um, to show up at her house um, and it was my dad's birthday during this dream and so they gave my dad like a box but it was like a Balenciaga box <laughs> and inside I don't know my dad just gave it to me because I whatever he gets presents from work and or stuff he just gives it to me because he doesn't really need them or anything um, which is nice uh, but he ended up giving it to me and it was like some Balenciaga products I forgot exactly what they were I bet if I was recording this video as soon as I woke up I'd remember but it was a very weird a dream um, it was super strange. I, I, I don't know. It was really weird. But yeah. Um, yeah, so I woke up. I exercised. I walked on the treadmill. My phone's on my shorts. Um, yeah, I got on the treadmill. I walked for five miles. I burned 732 calories. And my average heart rate was 124. And that went pretty well. I was done exercising, I um, got coffee ready, I took a shower, I made some coffee. Um, no, no, I got coffee ready and then I had the rest of the barbecue chips because there were only like half left so I just had the rest of them because I don't know, I was hungry I guess. Um, and then yeah, I got the coffee ready, I took a shower, then I had coffee, I gave my dad some coffee. Um, and that's pretty much it. I have some bad news you guys, I have a dead pixel on my monitor. It's not my new one, my middle one. Uh, I'm not actually sure if it's a dead pixel per se, uh, but it's certainly black in a certain area. Let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah, there it is. Um, it was a little harder to see because it wasn't because um, it was dark. Um, but it's really weird. It looks like a little. It looks like something you could just wipe off of your screen, but it isn't. It's like a piece of dirt or dust or something stuck in between, like the layers that make up the display. So that sucks, but I initiated an Amazon return and I was just going to be buying the same monitor again. Um, hopefully it doesn't have that issue. The reason why I got this monitor is because it was the cheapest, um, but maybe it's the cheapest for a reason. Um, but you know, that's not to deter me. I feel like if I get the monitor a second time, there's almost no chance the lightning would strike twice. If they send me two broken monitors, I'm just never gonna buy a Skepter monitor again, but I really feel like, you know, I don't know. My family loves Samsung TVs. We get Samsung TVs all the time. The most recent TV we got showed up broken and we had to order another one. Um, so, you know, maybe my family just has some bad luck with displays or something, but it's really bothersome and I just noticed it. And I looked at photos that I took of the display in the past and it was there and I didn't even see it. So now that it's there, I'm not gonna be able to unsee it. And you know, it's not supposed to look like that. So. Uh, you know, I initiated an Amazon return and sometime this weekend my parents, I, I'm going to be putting a monitor back in the box and my parents are going to be returning it. And then I'm going to order the new monitor. But, um, yeah, aside from that, um, oh, I'm using Flameshot now. Um, I'm not entirely sure how this would work, but I'm going to try and take a screenshot. Um, now, I don't know if you see this because... I don't know if you see this because right now everything's like dark and frozen right now, but you know, um, I can go like this and it's good. Um, it says the path that it saved it to. Um, and it copies it to my clipboard. 
Uh, my big thing with screenshot programs and scripts is that not only do they have to save to my computer, they also have to copy to my clipboard, and a lot of stuff doesn't do both. Uh, so for a long time, I had my own script set up, um, but the issue with having your own script set up is that it doesn't freeze the screen when you need to take a screenshot, and I bet I could do something really hacky with like image magic or something, but honestly, Flameshot is really nice. Plus, if I do shift print screen, um, it still uses my old script. Um, and if I do control print screen, which I think might not work because I don't have any window open right now, but if I do control print screen, it'll take a window screenshot. Um, so those two are where I'm still using my screenshot script, but I'm using Flameshot for selection screenshots now because it works a little bit better. I'm also using, I also set up Solar, so I had this set up on my old computer, but I just haven't got, gotten around with it around to it. Yesterday my mouse ran out of battery and I found it really irritating how I never knew what my mouse battery percentage was. So now I have Solar, now I know that my mouse battery is at 90%. Um, and yeah, I don't know, that's pretty much it. I think, um, yeah, nothing else, yeah, nothing else is really going on. Um, oh. There we go, there's a gnat on my screen. I had to kill it. Um, one last thing, I got NSXIV working. So if I do, um, um, there we go, look, it's black. And not only that, but I got the bar to be gray uh, instead of um, whatever. Uh, I got the bar to be gray instead of what, am I stupid? I got the bar to be gray instead of white uh, because I'm using NSXIV, uh, which is nice. But let me change something. Um, oh, okay, never mind. It's already done it. Um, it's actually nice. I've already done it. It's actually nice because uh, NXI, N, N, NSXIV has the same colors as my bar and um yeah, as well as down here so my module same color as the bar down here which is nice um and yeah that's pretty much it another thing i set up last night which you guys of course saw was how my dunst i use dunst as my screenshot daemon um and you can see that it has the same sort of red frame around the screenshots I'm taking a whole bunch of screenshots right now to show you guys this, but it has the same like red frame around the screenshots, and uh, I also added a little icon. I think this is the papyrus icon for skeptical, ske ske sn snaptical or something, KDE's uh, screenshot tool. Uh, but you know, it also represents screenshots generally, so um, I'm doing that. And it also is... I just really like how I have my um, screen, my notification set up because back in the day um, on my old system I had just the default for Dunst and the reason why is because I never really got notifications too often and I didn't really mind at all um, but it kind of started to bother me everything looks so nice and everything is so set up on my new system so I kind of just wanted to get Dunst done and over with um, and I did and it's nice now so that's that's good. Um, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. All right. I hope everybody has a good day and see you, dude.